A lot of times with these falling down tumbling toys, falling down the ladder toys, you'll see the ladder is mounted in a base. And then I'll put the tumbler in there, play with it a few times. Put the tumbler in there, play with it a few times, and then relegate it to their closet. But I wanted to kind of keep the process going, so I added an extra rung to the, each end of the ladder. And this has the effect of trapping uh, the tumbler. So now you can use centrifugal force, throw it back up, and have a stress toy. Which I actually I kind of sit down and absentmindedly play with this thing all the time. So it is kind of fun. Notice when it's straight up and down, it could go to either side. But when it's this side, or when it's this, this angle, it always falls to the same side. And it's much faster. This way it's fat, faster. So straight up and down, it's slower, and it can fall to either side. This angle, it can go faster, faster, it falls to the same side. All right, I want to talk about the tumbling block a little bit. Uh, the hole size needs to be... Uh, one and a half to two times the size of the the rung diameter. Um, the width of this thing should be about uh, well anything you want. Uh, I've seen wide ones, narrow ones. I think the narrow ones have less resistance and less problems. Um, the height is almost around the distance between one rung and another. And this brings up an interesting question. Which is faster, to let it fall straight down or to let it fall down at an angle? And you would think at first that uh, letting it fall straight down would be faster. But in fact, it has to decide which way it wants to fall. Whereas, if you fall on an angle, it's much faster. And uh, there's one slight problem with this thing, is that sometimes it will fall and balance and just sit there. And you have to either move the ladder or kick it over. And uh, 
one way to solve that problem is to put one weight, a more weight on one side than the other. But if you do that, then it's always going to fall left, right, left, right. So if you want it to randomly fall down the, t uh, the ladder, it needs to be balanced both sides. And I don't know how else to resolve the problem where it just lands and sits there. That's why sometimes you'll see in my program it jerks to make it fall one way or the other.